Welcome back to uh, another episode of Star Trek Timelines uh, videos. Uh, this is Universal Missionary. And I am here to do another video, not necessarily of the package that I did, uh, but I just did one uh, on that. And I will share with you what I got. Uh, today's video is going to be on... Um, gauntlet uh this one is going to be on the gauntlet and i'm going to be a little bit sarcastic i, I think that uh, the way things are done uh a gauntlet is pretty much i figure it's been rigged and a lot of people are having the same characters there's little variety and uh there's a lot of difficulties in winning uh, especially pre in preserving your streaks um Maybe I'm going to show you uh, a video, uh, or maybe I'm going to show you some techniques on what not to do, uh, and then, of course, what to do. I think that uh, there's a little bit of both in this. I'm not perfect in uh, Gauntlet. Uh, sometimes I consider myself average, maybe a little bit above average, maybe below average. Uh, it kind of varies on, on, on just the way I think and how I approach things, and so... I'd like to get your feedback. I'd like to see uh, what you think about the gauntlet, uh, how you think it's evolved, whether you think it's fair, uh, whether you think uh, that they should make some changes and improvements on the gauntlet. Uh, quite frankly, I think it sucks. Uh, when it first started off, of course, uh, I think a lot of people you know, were kind of getting started off, but within a month or so, uh, the gauntlet just simply started becoming less and less exciting. And then, not only that, but I think at the end of the day, I think it's become more difficult to obtain uh, the special legendary character that is supposed to come out uh, for the period uh, or the quarter, whatever you want to call it, uh, under Gauntlet. So this is basically the third wave, uh, and the reward under this wave is the caretaker. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And I'd like to discuss a little bit about what I got as well on the uh, package. I spent $10, and I ended up getting this particular character here for $9.99. And they're uh, basically offering you an opportunity to get this guy up to level 50. Uh, no, no, uh, you know, basically a shoe in for a level 50 character and another copy of uh, your Romulan data for $24.99. Uh, I don't really like the idea because it's too much money. Uh, I figure I spend $9.99 uh, and I got this guy plus a couple of other Romulan characters and then, of course, uh, Galen and, and Apollo and everything, but I ended up getting rid of all most of the characters and I will show you later on which of the characters I decided to keep. This is definitely one of them. And so you tell me if it's really worth it or not. And let's go ahead and just look really quick at um, what I got. There's the Romulan and Data. And he's just, you know, I haven't really gotten him up yet. Uh, and then, of course, I end up getting a few more characters out of the way. Uh, and that was your, you know, I ended up adding a few more characters. And that uh, I got Recall Troy. Uh, she's always been one of my favorite characters. And then, of course, I ended up getting Apollo and uh, a Nevisa. So, three Romulan characters. And so... Uh, definitely something to work with for $9.99. Let's get on to the gauntlet. With the gauntlet, I think many of you already know the rules on gauntlet. And you already know what to expect. Uh, every two or three days, uh, the event changes. Uh, the traits change. So, um, basically your performance is going to be highly dependent on whether you have those particular characters with the trait during that particular event. And so, uh, if you have those characters and you, uh, have a better chance at succeeding, and I mean better chance, I don't necessarily mean, uh, you're a shoe in or not, but, uh, there are characters that based on the 
formula that each of the characters have for the uh, proficiency uh, that make uh, the game kind of rigged now. I think, in my opinion, I think uh, Gauntlet has become more of a rigged thing. Let me show you what I mean by that. Um, and so, uh, at this point in time, you have characters that, uh, you know, are generally rigged for the game. I mean, this is, uh, this is kind of one of them right here. And this is a beginner in terms of, uh, having this guy. If you don't have this guy in your crew, you need to get this guy. Uh, this is just basically just to get your foot in the door when it comes to dealing with, uh, characters. And so, um... Obviously, the event, the goal, the purpose is to win and to beat this guy in gauntlet combat. And then, of course, uh, it's based on your percentages of, um, as well on your percentage to critic, uh, hits and criticals. And so right here, uh, you know, you have characters that based on your skill sets. Uh, you know, at this point in time, I believe that this one is going to be uh, let's see, Maverick is one of them, I think, un under this one. Uh, another one is going to be, I believe, uh, uh, trying to figure out what the other one is, I think. Let me, let me check, I mean, I, I know that I don't know them all, but, uh, but, you know, these particular characters, all of these are, are considered Mavericks. Uh, but there are two other other uh, other skill sets. If you don't have any of the skill sets, you have five percent. And so uh, this guy is about the only guy that has a chance of uh, uh, really winning. But I have seen situations where uh, characters can easily defeat a guy that has two skill sets uh, in play within the game. And so obviously, you, what you want to do is. Uh, in order to win, you want to make sure that your stats on the low and high end uh, are higher than the lower stats, or higher than the stats on the other guy's end, uh, not taking into account the criticals that they have. And so, if these are the same, then, then uh, you have a general, you know, a good chance of winning. So let's try this one here today. See how what see what I mean? You know, so at this point in time, I mean, uh, I, I kind of think it's rigged. I mean, when you look at this, you know, you look at how how this guy has overall higher stats uh, on the other end, and you don't have those kind of stats, and so I end up getting this guy kicked out, taken out. Uh, uh, for the sake of argument today, uh, I'm not going to restore this guy, but as you can see. Uh, that was my first fatal blunder here today. Uh, I probably should have chosen another guy that's lower, but for the sake of argument, I mean, I'm thinking, you know what? I'm trying to show kind of how rigged the game is and how ridiculous Gauntlet has become. Uh, I want your opinions on this. Give me your feedback. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Okay. And so we have the same character once again. Uh, one of the other things that helps out your character in Gauntlet is the ability to uh, work on increasing your proficiency skills. Uh, you know, these proficiency skills uh, can be upgraded either through your collections or through your uh, star bases. And so let's try to see if I can find somebody in. You know, it's difficult, look. As you can see, many of these characters have difficulty in being able to beat. I mean, a lot of people are basically uh, bringing in the same characters uh, for Shuin. So, um, you know, that right there, you know, makes it difficult. And so I'm going to have to refresh. And so here we go. We have another shoe in here, another guy that's basically rigged. Although for this particular event, he actually does have a 25% chance because he's a maverick. Uh, but a lot of these people uh, have um, a lot of these people do have uh, legends, and they're you know they have different characters that can be just as good. I mean, this one is definitely a good one. 
and let's go ahead and see if I can find someone that I can use to fight some of these characters. Okay, um, for the sake of argument, I want to win, so I I'm going to have to basically choose the lowest tier character that I have uh, to fight against versus probably the highest tier character that I have. And so I should win this one without any problems. But look at this, I mean, uh, look at this particular character, I mean, as you can see, this person ended up getting a critical, and I did not. And I believe this one had a 5% chance, and I'm like, can you see how ridiculous Gauntlet has become? What do you think? I mean, I mean, this is how difficult it gets to be, you know? So you have to play a lot of precision and a lot of uh, patience. You have to be a lot very patient in winning. So uh, here's another character that is just simply being used up quite a lot. Uh, he's really been beefed up. And he's great. He's great for shuttles. He's great for gauntlet. Uh, you know, I, I think that it's a great character to have overall. Uh, but as you can see... Uh, Here's, here's another another opportunity where if you were to try to decide, okay, uh, who do you think would be better in terms of winning? I mean, if you do the math, you, you look at this guy has 1,223, and this guy has uh, nine, uh, 1,000, 1,021. And then you look at this guy, he's got some lower stat, uh, some higher stats on the lower end, his 298 will beat his 246, and my 155 may not necessarily beat uh, his 167, and definitely my 321 will beat my 477, but we both have a 5% chance. Let's try this guy, and let's see how well we do. And I'm thinking, yeah, I should be able to beat him, but uh, let's see how fair the, uh, the game is. See, look at that. At the end, this guy gets a 5% critical. I don't get it, and it, you know, it, it really puts you in a position where you you really have to hope that you don't get uh, struck out like that. So as you can see, I mean, everything just starts to get, and I hate this guy right here. This guy for Gauntlet, he is deceptively difficult to beat. I don't know why. I don't know why I've had so much trouble with him. And I know in my mind, I mean, common sense would say, well, why don't I just simply go for somebody like this lady, you know? She's a three-star, and I'm like, okay. But I'm trying to point out some of the issues that happen that, that you deal with uh, when it comes to dealing with uh, Gauntlet. Uh, because I want I want your opinion. I want your feedback on this. Is Gauntlet really a fair game to play? Is it really something that you should try out and you know continue? I mean, should they do some revamps? Should they really do some things to try to work this out? And based on what I have here, it doesn't look like I have a character that I can use to. Uh, so I'm gonna have to refresh. And one of my complaints as well is uh, I have 322 merits. One of my complaints about the uh, about the gauntlet is that you are, in order for you to refresh, you have to pay 50 merits to refresh. And in my opinion, is that fair? You know, knowing that you have a limited amount, knowing that uh, it's quite a bit of you know, it's quite difficult to obtain them, even when you win in gauntlets and you get them through the gauntlet. Uh, I would like to ask your opinion and your feedback. Should some other form of payment be used to refresh uh, for the gauntlet? Maybe they should use credits instead of merits to replace. Uh, maybe they should use dilithium. Maybe they should use something else. I mean... Uh, I honestly don't know. I mean, I think at the end of the day, uh, it's, this is a great opportunity to offer feedback. And maybe, you know, somebody from Disruptor will actually see this video and, uh, you know, take my input into account. So I'm choosing a different category. 
And so I believe the category for this one, uh, I believe this one uh, is going to require that you have the ability to use, uh, I think the, the, the one that frequently appears the most on this event is uh, security. Okay, here's another one. This one is this one is a really this I, I really want to do this one because at this point in time, look at how similar these particular stats are for these particular characters. And this one happens to have uh, you know the difference is five percent on this side, twenty five percent. That's the only real difference. Uh, the stats are very similar. Let's try and battle out with this one. Okay. This one, this one was an obvious one, where, um, where Wolf World won, but it could have gone the other way easily, and I could have lost. I mean, uh, this is not a bad job for uh, for the rewards on the gauntlet. So let's try another one. I've moved up to rank 19, and at the same time, I mean, uh, you are dealing with issues that evolve, uh, that become more difficult. Uh, every time you win, you know, you end up uh, getting the character more tired. Uh, but the stats are very similar here, once again. You have a 25% chance here, 5% chance here. Let's see, is, you know, what do you think? So this one turned out to be fair, you know? Okay, uh, once again we have the uh, command skill uh, that's being put out on display here. And this one doesn't really have uh, someone that I can really use to try to beat. Look at, look at this, I mean, everybody has this particular character. Everybody is using this particular character. I mean, I think it's a little bit you know, frustrating, you know, I think it's also dull, you know, that, you know, you are basically pitting yourself against everybody else that has the same character. The only real chance of winning is, number one, you either get lucky on a critical hit and he doesn't get it, or she doesn't get it, or, uh, you know, you, you go against somebody uh, like this one here, which is 270 with a low roll versus a 253 uh, low roll, and you hope to win. You know, uh, here's one that's 245 versus 761, and that's pretty much the the lowest one here. But as you can see, uh, the the point values for winning go from 160 over here to 10 uh, when you get to the third person. I mean, ask yourself. I mean, how fair is the gauntlet for you? Uh, here's another one, and so at this point in time, uh, you know, this is a great character to have. If you have this character, <coughs> uh, I advise you strongly to, uh, you know, to use this character. Although, once again, a lot of people have this character simply because uh, they win, you know? They want him on Gauntlet. I mean, um... And once again, I don't have, I don't have any character that I can use uh, that comes close. Uh, why don't we try this one? Why don't we try? I, I don't have much of a chance of winning here, but let's try to see if I put myself on someone else's shoes and see if I win against this guy, and see you know if I were in the other person's shoes, how fair would it be to win? Let's just try it out. Check that out. I mean, look at this. Here's the difference here. Think about this. This one is this one is a fair uh, a fair fight, and and I, I purposely did this uh, just to get you know just to see if I would win against this guy. I didn't win, but if he had not uh, made a critical, I would have won. And so uh, you know, it could have easily gone the other way. If he had not critted, I would have not won. Or, uh, if he had not critted, I would have won. All right, let's look at some other ones here. Uh, 
Okay, so I've got this character here. And so here's, you know, here is the, the matchup that I would like to go ahead and do. And I think, um, you know, I think this is, you know, a fair fight if you look at it. Uh, the stats are higher on my end. Uh, I have a favorable, favorable chance of winning. And so let's try that one out as well. So this one, nobody did any criticals, and you barely won uh, from that. So that at that point in time, uh, you know. You know that one. That one turned out to be, you know, a regular match without any any consequences here. Okay. And so let's try this one. <laughs> and uh, so we're gonna try. We're gonna try this guy. Obviously, I've got some wear, uh, but I have some lower stats, and then I have two two stats here, and a twenty five percent critical chance. So. Let's try to see if I can defeat Kalos. Look at that. I barely defeated Kalos, and he had a 5% chance, and he hit a critical of 1,000. And I only hit a critical of 232. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, that's how... That's what I don't like about Gauntlet. It's just, you know, in my opinion, I think uh, they ought to do away with it and try a different different form and so we're gonna try one more one more gauntlet battle and we're gonna try to see um how well we do on that this one isn't gonna work so let's try let's see if this one will work i don't think this one is gonna work either oh, that one's not gonna work either Um, uh, let's see. This one. This is, once again, this is going to be an even Steven match. And this will be our final battle. We're going to choose the one with the lowest stats. Uh, I don't have much to work with here. Uh, it's just as, you know, I have just as much chance to lose, to win. And I've only had one, one, one use on this guy. Okay, so this one turned out to be nice. So at the end of the day, I win this one. So I uh, ended up getting one casing. And so overall, not a bad gauntlet. Not a great one. But as you can see, um, I ended up losing my, nine, my streak of nine. And, you know, for me, this video was not about winning necessarily as much as how fair is the gauntlet is it really worth involving yourself into and so um give me your feedback uh hit like and subscribe if you're interested and i will try to do some more videos on star trek timelines and uh, this is universal missionary thank you very much for watching have a great day